San Juan Thread uncovers the people and elements that give this region its character. Visitors to the San Luis Valley for the annual Monte Vista Crane Festival in early March have the chance to see thousands of cranes up close feeding, courting, and roosting. They also witness how intricately intertwined the cranes are with the people, culture, and way of life in this region. Um, I've been coming here to the Monte Vista National Wildlife Refuge Crane Festival for almost five years. I first came as a guest, like most everybody here, uh, but I had been working with cranes for some time, so they invited us to start helping with tours. Last year we got to be the keynote speaker. It's been great. It's a wonderfully welcoming community. The cranes are fabulous. Every spring and fall, approximately 27,000 sandhill cranes migrate from New Mexico to the San Luis Valley for the wetlands and the leftover wheat and barley that they find mostly on private agricultural lands. The valley has a history of agriculture dating back to the early 1900s. Farmers actually made the land more desirable to the migrating cranes by irrigating fields from the nearby Rio Grande River and creating a network of wetland habitat. During this year's 37th festival, farmers, artists, enthusiasts, students, local towns, and visitors come together to celebrate the Sand Hill Crane. This is one of the most beautiful places to photograph cranes. And as you can see from the fields, you can get pretty close to them. But there's nowhere like Colorado for the dramatic snow-capped mountains in the background. Most of the people on our tour bus were visiting from the Front Range, hoping to soak in the nature, solitude, and dramatic landscapes. We also learned that this is the best place to view the Rocky Mountain population of the greater Sandhill Cranes. Well, this is an elegant bird. People identify easily with cranes. The greater sandhill cranes, that are the population that comes through here, are four and a half feet tall, almost six foot wingspans. They're elegant, long legs, long neck. They have a lot of vocalizations. They dance year round, so they're, they're just really interesting birds. Noel also shared that farmers welcome the cranes because they help clean up the leftover harvest for next year and clear away unwanted insects and invertebrates. A true symbiotic relationship between farmers and cranes. Before embarking on the evening guided tour, we stopped at the festival grounds to shop and chat with local vendors where you could find art, jewelry, food, and other locally influenced wares. On our way through the town of Monte Vista, we saw beautifully painted metal cranes on lampposts, which was part of a community art project. Local artists painted the cranes, which were also sponsored by local businesses. Visitors and residents can vote on their favorite cranes, and the winners will be announced in September 2020. Consider adding the Crane Festival to your agenda for next year and support this growing community of art and culture, and of course, the mighty crane. To learn about next year's festival, visit mvcranefest.org. Thanks for watching this edition of Local News Pagosa Springs. If you would like to see this story again, visit our website at pagosalocal.news, where you can sign up to have us deliver the news directly to your inbox. If you are interested in hosting a digital network display at your place of business, you can fill out a form on our website.